for the longest time now, I've been looking for a 4K monitor so I could finally escape the grandfather 1080p disgusting gaming era and finally see what my semi next gen console can actually do. But even though it's been almost 20 years since 2016, we really haven't gotten to the point where we could get a 4K monitor with all the necessary gaming hardware requirements, you know, one millisecond response time, 144 hertz, all that jazz for under $300, which is why I got my beautiful, amazing, perfect 1080p monitor back in the dark ages. So I decided to hell with it. I don't really need a perfect 4K monitor right now. I just wanted an average 4K display that will give me just a slight taste of what I've been missing out on the past few years. That's when I found this. The Yidian Address? At $220 is one of the cheapest 4K monitors listed with HDR support and FreeSync? Interesting. But is it any good? Let's find out right after this sponsor segment. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm about to die. I can't game anymore. No more energy. I need something. I need something that will help me game. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh water. Oh, that's so disgusting. I'm about to die. What, what's this? Oh, rock, Rockstar Energy. With 240 milligrams of caffeine to give you all the energy you need to game for 72 hours straight. Thank you. Thank you, Rockstar. Oh, use code MANDIT5 foot 3 to get 10% off on your next Rockstar Punch purchase. So that's enough scripted parts of the video, alright? Let's get raw. Let's get into it. Before I open this up, I honestly want to talk about this Yidian company and how I got this money where I, where I even found it. So there's a lot of shit, garbage, fake, you know, company monitors they could get out there especially on amazon you know and this looked like what at a glance obviously because this is not samsung this is not lg this is not asus it's not acer it's not even specter at least that one is like a known uh cheap budget company monitor who the fuck is this now the company that sells you this is called todo best <laughs> or some shit like that and from the looks of it, I'm like, okay, this probably has just, it has high ratings, high reviews. It must be fake bots, must be fake, you know, paid reviews or AI scripted reviews. It has to be that, right? But no. So first of all, there's barely any fucking, like, content for this goddamn monitor out there that I was able to find. It is very obscure. And the only things that were able to find for reviews and any blog spots talking about this shit was all Spanish <laughs> so that gives you a hit that this is actually even though it has this Yidian name and all this crap the company named Total Best is a Spanish company that's selling this and from what I saw in the videos on YouTube and all that stuff it's not it's not fake you know it's not <laughs> it's not uh it doesn't look like they're just like paid reviews or anything in fact in fact um I was able to find one English blogspot review for this thing. And it criticizes a few things, which I expected would be a problem anyway. So, first of all, apparently that the brightness level is uneven throughout the screen. And that the RGB scale is also not very good. I think it's like 80 or some shit like that. So, it's not the best panel in the world. But for the rest of the review... It seems fine. It does everything else fairly decent as described. So it's really fucking weird. All right. Again, I am not that dumb to just buy usually a no name brand like this and just wing it. But for some reason, I felt like I needed to support this. I needed to really see if this Spanish company is really giving you a good budget deal on apparently an amazing model all right so before i'm opening this i do want to show the back and just to show 
everything. So it's IPS panel, deep the panel, uh, <laughs> uh, refresh rate 60 hertz. Obviously, that's what you're going to get for an under $300 4K monitor. And that's probably just fine for a Xbox Series S, which is what I'm mostly going to be using for this anyway. Uh, most importantly, obviously, 4K, 27 inches, even though it's not actually 27 inches. It's, well, you're going diagonally. It's actually only 24 inches <laughs> across, so whatever. Um, five minutes second response time. Again, that's usually what you're going to get for a budget monitor at this price range. But, again, apparently it has adaptive synchronization, which, uh, honestly, AMD FreeSync, so... Hopefully that helps it out a little bit so you don't notice the horrible blur. Uh, everything else, compatible with F-Sync, all that garbage, you know. Visa 100 by 100 USA, Mexico uh, connection. I do want to show this. I saw this on the description. This 4K flat gaming monitor offers gamers a new Gantin <laughs> experience with picture-perfect imaging fast response time and adaptability to any workspace so uh yeah not 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 a good look to have a uh big spelling error there and I, i'm dyslexic so i really don't didn't notice that for the first time so that's uh not 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 the best thing but you know whatever so as it works right let's see as i'm about to finish this up putting the stand on i do want to mention that while the screw in to put the base of the stand is uh perfectly fine easy to do these little tiny ass screws they have to insert all the way in here uh pain in the fucking ass all right so the monitor's on um about to set it up a few things before i start um just a few little notes there are the screws in the back has a little cover to put on it could not fucking put that shit on it felt like i was about to snap the actual monitor in half so uh, it will be covered this for now. Um, the stand, not good, <laughs> not fucking good. Uh, I saw that coming in, so I'm not shocked by it, but yeah, not it has no versatility really. So I'm probably gonna have to buy an arm, which adds to the budget, but not get weight, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, one nice thing the buttons are in the bottom of the screen and they're labeled, which I'm surprised about because a lot of new mo monitors have the fucking buttons in the back. I hate that shit. I fucking hate when they have the buttons in the back. Because usually they don't fucking show what they are in the front. They usually just make you have to fucking just look in the back. Pain in the ass. So, so after calibrating the HDR, everything set up, I got the, aim, uh, the free sync on the menus turned on. But nothing on the system itself says anything about it. I don't know if it actually is going to do anything. But, um, yeah. Everything set up. And I was going to look at my games and be like, okay, let's see what I can show off. That reads, I don't play anything that has 4K. Uh, so unless, you know, I can show off Saints Row on 360, if you guys want. Um, Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, I'm only buying. I only got 4K just because I wanted to, uh, you know, play sports games in 4K. But most sports games don't look that great anyway. I mean, 2K looks pretty good, but I don't have 2K set up, and I'm not waiting 300 hours to install that game again. So uh, let's just go on YouTube. I mean, what's uh, this is the first time I look at YouTube in 4K. That's cool. I'm in 4K apparently. I don't even know I record in 4K. Um, and this gives us a, a chance to hear that amazing, amazing stereo. Uh, you're signed out. Please sign in for the best. Shut the fuck up. All right. Uh, so let's let's just the average day for me. I'm on YouTube. Uh, oh, what should I what should I watch? Um, hmm, that's a good that's a good fucking question. What should I watch? What would I watch right now if I had free time? I know exactly what I'd watch. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what a legend. Love this guy. Um, what what review? What review? I haven't watched Angry Joe in fucking years. He did 
Oh, Division Review. That's great. Uh, Fallout 76. Madden 22 Epic Fail? What's Epic Fail about Madden? Madden rules. Sounds like a hater to me. Um, none of these videos I know. Oh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. That looks great. Wow. This uh, 11 year old video looks amazing. Look at the quality of that. Wow. This game sucks, am I right? <laughs> He's so funny. That, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That's actually uh, probably. Let's go to an actual 4K video, I guess. I mean, you might want to see that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I guess if I just look up 4K, 4K video. Thank you, YouTube. Let's see. What? Who do I want to see? Flying over China? Flying over Poland? I don't want flying over anywhere. Romania? What? what? Japan. I love fucking Japan. Oh my god. What happened? What did I do? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll look at Japan, I guess. Whoa! I have a mutual over there. Is it, all, is it actually in 4K? I don't, I don't even know. How do I check the channel? Settings? 2160p HDR Max. Alright, it's a 4K apparently. It's 4K. It says it on the box. Looks good, I guess. It looks like Japan. <laughs> looks good, I guess. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Honestly, this all just shows that really, who gives a fuck about 4K, right? But hey, the monitor actually works. And it shows 4K. It says it, so... What what more could you fucking ask for? Really, this 4K it's two hundred dollars, two hundred twenty with taxes and shipping. What's I mean? It's fine. Do you really want more? Do you re like? Do you really need more? I mean, maybe for playing like Call of Duty or Fortnite every day, maybe you'll care about the fact that it's not one hundred forty four hertz and one hundred and you know. I mean, one millisecond response time, but for watching Angry Joe videos, watching, um, watch, oh, let's, uh, let's watch one more video, actually. I know exactly what to watch. Yeah. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's 13 second ad. Wow. Wow. These ads are great. I love looking at ads in 4K, actually. That's that's amazing. Uh, I wish I would have had this back in the Super Bowl so I could see those beautiful, beautiful 4K ads. This is amazing. This is the best water ever. <laughs> A 
amazing, amazing model there. Honestly, I give it a 10 out of 10. It plays Walkie Slush 7-Eleven, the best I've ever seen it, hands down. That My old 20-year-old monitor could not have done that any better. So yeah, that's my review.